In this video, I show how to make the Kasane Dindo pattern. This is quite a simple pattern, and I cover it, along with the other members of the Dindo family, in Book 3. I'm using this pattern in a set of Andon lanterns I'm making, and this diagram shows one of the panels. The pitch of the hexagonal jigumi is 43 millimetres, and the kumiko mitsuke is 2 millimetres. The critical dimensions for the pattern are 26.9 millimetres to the first cut of the joint, and an overall length of 35.7 millimetres. The first step is to trim one end on the 45 and 15 degree jigs. Each complete pattern consists of 12 pattern pieces, so it's advisable to work in sets of 12. I start with the 45 degree jig and trim down to at least halfway, then onto the 15 degree jig. Carefully trim the other side so that the point between the 45 and 15 degree angles is in the centre of the kumiko piece. When all 12 pieces have been trimmed, secure them in the 90 degree kumiko cutting jig with the trimmed ends against the end stop. The angles should all face the same way. In book 3 I have the 15 degree angle facing the side support, but here it's the 45 degree angle. It doesn't matter as long as they all face the same way. and double check that the trimmed ends are firmly against the end stop. The first joint cut is 26.9 millimetres, so here I measured and marked 27 millimetres with the ruler. The pieces are 35.7 millimetres long, so next I measured and marked about 36.5 millimetres. I then extended those marks across all kumiko. Next, I cut down on the joint mark. I don't cut on the end mark at this stage. Flip the jig around, mark and cut the other side of the joint, then clean out the waste. Once that's done, I again flip the jig around and now cut on the end mark. I next tape the kumiko together and remove them from the cutting jig. And cut the ends off. Next, trim the other end to fit on the 75 degree jig. When trimming, make sure you trim the 75 degree angle on the same side as the 45 degree angle at the other end. The piece won't fit otherwise.
Trim two pieces an equal amount, then line them up to check that the end parts are the same length. Now for the first test fit. Assemble the two pieces without glue and try to insert them in the intended triangle. They should be slightly over length. Place a pencil mark on the top so you'll always have a consistent orientation. Then take them apart and take the necessary number of shavings for each on the 75 degree jig. Never make any length adjustment on the 45 or 15 degree jigs. Only on the 75 degree jig. Test fit again, and if the fit is nice and firm, it's time to add some glue. Glue the two pieces together, swipe a dab of glue in each of the corners, and also place a bit of glue on the end of the short sides. If there's a good firm fit, it's safer to tap them in with a flat piece of wood rather than push them in with your fingers. Clean up the glue and that's the first triangle done. And that's all there is. From there, it's just a matter of repeating that process until all patterns in your design have been completed. You can see this is a very simple but also a very attractive pattern that only requires a couple of cuts and a bit of careful trimming. 
I hope you found this interesting, and I hope you'll give this pattern a go. Thanks for watching.